well do you know the tracks in your folders and your records? Not so well. So how, how do you how do you do that? I don't know, I got a weird Dewey Decimal system in my brain. I'm like fucking an idiot savant, man. I don't know. <laughs> like it's funny when other people DJ with me or they see me or something. They're like, how the fuck are you doing this? Like I don't use record box. I don't like nothing loops. <laughs> like, like dude, it's just so random. I guess that's what makes my talent unique in some ways. But um, I mean, I know I know a lot of songs, but a lot of times I'll play stuff that I like downloaded like an hour ago whole set would be like brand new stuff and people are like wow that was great and i'm like i don't fucking even know what those tracks were <laughs> like, you know? but it's like you kind of know in your mind how they sound a little bit you know i think any dj for many years like the amount of time you have to listen to a song to know it's a good song sonically and how it's put together like you know kevin in the back or any of us you know it takes you two seconds yeah <laughs> you know you as a reviewer how long does it your ear sonically have to listen to something to be like all right, we're already on the yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, of, of the simplicity, the sound, you know, whatever. You're kind of already like, uh. So, you know, it's the same as with DJing. If you kind of, I can skim through a song and I know exactly what the song's going to do in, you know, 30 seconds. So if you kind of know this already of how things work, I have some different kind of techniques of how to mix and stuff. I, I, I'm, keep, I'm keeping those for myself. You got to go to Troxler University, get, get, get the full course. You know, there are some tricks that we ha I have, but uh, yeah, generally, and it's like I like I like the spontaneity of it all. I like not knowing. That's exciting to me. Has your taste in what you play changed much? I play the same records I played since I was 16, like, like so many times. I do like vinyl sets, you know, Panorama Bar stuff. I like bring out these records I bought. At Melodies and Memories in Detroit, great record store. I worked there when I was a kid. <laughs> um, still open, but uh, yeah, I play all these records I bought there when I four bucks. You know, these clubs are going out, but Fabric's going off, and I'm like, got this in high school. Same record, <laughs> Derek Carter record still rocks. <laughs> you know, same copy. Uh, but yeah, I think the music hasn't really changed. That's the one thing I think keeps me going because my taste is the same. You know, how I mix, I think the evolution now of using a V10 has brought back the kind of things that I had before with the, with tractor and all those effects. And so many people like the fucking, you know, they like the kids, the kids like the effects, right? You gotta <laughs> add the steam and do that. So that's kind of come and gone and being like a purist or like whatever. I don't, I don't really care. However you mix is however you mix. And that's fine by, you know, so your art is your art. But, uh, Yeah. Hey ho, right? <laughs> Do you pay attention to trends or what's popular in, in clubs? Not at all. Over the years? I don't pay. That's because everything comes back around anyway, right? So instead of trying to like, like right now there's this trend of speed, you know, and that's to me, I'm like, it's too fast. It's just, <laughs> you know, sorry, you can, it too, for, for, it's for me, my, per, like, again, I, I, back in the day, I'd have some provocative statements here. Not going to do it. <laughs> Not going to do it. No, but uh, no, it's just too fast for me. But also, eventually, like, who is it? Sam Pagliat. What's the guy's? Sam Pagliat. Pagliat. Paganini. Paganini. Pag Panini. Sam Panini. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like this call to action about him and within his community about saying, like, hey, come on. Techno. So techno for me is a different thing than what they're saying is techno now. But it's too fast, right? But, you know, house will eventually come back and it's everything. I've been calling for the, the return of vocal house is coming. <laughs> A little handbag house, you know, I'm playing some deep, you know, real New York Afro stuff. And, you know, it's good, it's good, good music. 